In 2013, you overwhelmingly elected me as the first governor of Mombasa. And this is the journey we took together. Mombasa ni jiji la sifa ya amani, jiji lo stawi kutokana na biashara zinazoendeshwa na watu wa kabila, dini na tabaka mbalimbali na wanaoishi kwa uiano na upendo. Mwaka 2012 changamoto kubwa ya utovu wa usalama ilikumba jiji hili na kutishia kuangamia kwake baada ya baadhi ya vijana wa jiji hili kubebwa na wimbizito na ushawishi wa itikadi kali za kidini hali iliyozorotesha pakubwa usalama na kupenya kwa visa vya kigaidi We were at some point uh, unable even to move uh, in some of our streets in Mombasa as a Muslim, I could not even pray in certain mosques, and to be particular in the Musa Mosque. I mean, extremism was propagated in broad daylight. Uh, we had indoctrination being undertaken openly and through even the loudspeakers of the mosque. They will kill us all, we will die, but we will never live jana wengi hawa ni vijana waliokuwa makoro wakoro kwa hivyo walikuwa hawaogopi wao bora zile pesa hapa wao basi wakae mbona ule makaburi fanyeni hivi wao wanafanya hapa mtaani wamesumbua watu mtaa mzima wapiga watu wakitoka paka nje wakinyanya watu simu wakisumbua mtaa mzima paka watu wakahama mtaa hata hata hizi nyumba zilikuwa hazina wapangaji watu mtu akitaka kupanga huku hapati hataki yani The turning point for me is when the communities uh, got involved, when we could see resilience in the community, when mothers could speak about extremism, when teachers in schools, when leaders, elected leaders like myself, could share my experience and my story about Mombasa globally, and more importantly, even on the local platform uh, or even the political platform. So for me, really, that was the point where I started feeling that this journey uh, can be successful. So the action plan uh, has identified different uh, stakeholders and given them responsibilities with timelines for them to undertake in addressing violent extremism and radicalization. From the national government, we are very clear on what their roles are. The county government, we are very clear on what their roles are. Civil society organizations, faith-based organizations, women groups, even uh, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, Independent Policing Oversight Authority, National Police Service Commission, they are all within this document and they've been given their responsibility. Licha shinikizo za kidini na kikabila msimamo wa muheshimiwa Hassan Ali Joho umekuwa wazi kuwa Mombasa imeungana na inawakilishi dhabiti swala ambalo limewakilishwa kwa nguvu ya pamoja na serikali yake. Kanuni za kutoa nafasi sawa kwa fursa na rasilimali kwa jamii zilizotengwa na mshikamano si utamaduni tu bali kanuni ambayo Governor Joho anaiunga mkono kwa udhabiti. Waziri na wangapi? Kumi wamegawanywa watano kwa watano Waziri wa ardhi ni Francis Toya Waziri wa utalii Job Tumbo Waziri wa fedha Hazel Koitaba Waziri wa uvuvi na ukulima Anthony Njaramba Waziri wa elimu Tendai Mtana There are ten chief officers six are Christians four are Muslims Unajua kuna kuna siasa mmoja sahihi anatembea hapa na akisema ati sijui sisi wa Kristo sisi wa bara hiyo lugha hatutaki hapa Msijaribu kuleta hiyo lugha sisi ni watu wa moja Let me tell you 
do not escalate emotions a watu to benefit you NCIC mara kadhaa ilibainisha kwa furaha na kuipongeza serikali ya kaunti ya Mombasa na uongozi wake kwa kuwa mfano bora kwa ushirikishwaji katika idadi ya watu wote kama kabila, dini, jinsia, vijana na hasa watu wanaoishi na ulemavu. Afya bora ni nguzo muhimu katika ujenzi wa taifa na kulifanikisha hili. Idara ya afya iligatuliwa kwa nguvu za katiba mpya. Kipindi hiki kilikuwa kigumu sana kilichoshuhudia migomo ya mara kwa mara ya udumu wa afya, wakilalamikia mazingira duni ya kazi, ukosefu wa vifaa, ukosefu wa fursa za mafunzo ya kujiendeleza na hata kutopandishwa vyeo na kadhalika. Baada ya kupigiwa kura mwaka wa 2013 Najua hali ya huduma ya afya ilipokuwa siku zile na hali ya huduma ya afya iko sasa namna gani mimi najua na tangu tuingie his vision ilikuwa health lazima ibadilike watu wa Mombasa hawafai kutoka nje kwenda kutafuta matibabu matibabu yote ni hapa na watu wote wengine mambo ya kwenda moshi kwenda wapi yatabadilika so the transformation of course had to begin with uh, the ambience of course channel and that's where he played a great part in bringing in the business community and donors uh, transforming it uh, from a basic secondary care uh, hospital into an ultra modern level 5 uh, tertiary secondary care facility but offering services similar to a level 6 uh, predominantly uh, having centers of excellence uh, in cardiology having centers of excellence in oncology or cancer treatment and having centers of excellence in surgery uh, whereby we provide minimal access surgery tumejenga five new hospitals tunazita sub county hospital or outreach for cost general chani marimani uh, vikwatani mtongwe uh, na shikadabu uh, we started a new radiotherapy center now we are the only facility in the in the whole of coast province offering a complete care of cancer uh, for for any patient from diagnosis all the way to treatment uh, receiving patients not only from the government sector but also from the private sector radiotherapy liko ikifanywa na Europe it was very expensive ikiwa mtu wa Mombasa umebuku mwezi huu lakini utafanywa mwaka kesho mwezi huu wengine hawakuweza kukaa mpaka wakati huo walikufa katikati ya barabara lakini mimi nalishukuru sana ni Mungu tu unasema ni Mungu tu kwa sababu pesa nyingi zilitumika mpaka kasa yangu ikawa anda control miaka 13 ni miaka mingi tu safari za Nairobi zitakoma kwa sababu Mombasa pia nao sopo napata jumba la kufanyia radiotherapy kuhudumiwa kwa kila jambo la kasa ni hapa. Kwa hivyo wananchi tushukuru Mungu na serikali kama imetufikia Mombasa hatuendi mbali tena. Tuna ma, a special maternity hospital yani tuna pumwani ya Mombasa, Mrima Maternity Hospital ambayo ina, ina, inazalisha baina ba, ba, 500 na 800 mpaka 1000 wanafika kwa, kwa siku kuzalisha. Na waliponipeleka dieta wale walinipokea dieta walinikaribisha kama dada yao na wakanitoa mtoto kijana ambaye ni Samueli na wakanionyesha wakaniambia mtoto wangu wako sawa hako 3.7 kitu naweza kuambia governor wetu 001 ni kwanza namshukuru sana kwa wazo ambalo halikuja nalo maana hakika mrima imesaidia wamama na wamama walio chini sijalipishwa kitu ukweli niliuliza ni pesa ngapi na nikaambiwa hakuna kitu nitalipa mpomza huo mtoto ilikuwa iko kwa 600 g kwa nguvu za madaktari na manas na mimi mwenyewe mzazi alhamdulillah namshukuru Mungu sahi ana 1.29 kilo yani vile ninavyohisi sikutarajia kama mimi mtoto atabakia wallah 
nilona kama ni mtamkoso mtu wangu kwa ile tabu ndio hapa madaktari ndio hapa na manasi alhamdulillah sai naskera bila ni namboshika mtoto ushauri kwa mama mama si give up basi kati tamaa ati wanza mtoto mdogo wakati tamaa mtoto atakufa kama ukata tamaa ingekata mimi tamaa they realize that my kidneys were not very good because of the high blood pressure and then after like 3 weeks i was told they needed to terminate the pregnancy and they told me the baby was too small that she might not survive they did remove it on the 27th of september and here she is i thank god for this far right now she is 1 kg and 390 grams governor hassan ali joho may the good lord bless you you have a very good hospital over here it's so beautiful it's so well equipped it's nice and the incubators our kids are sleeping in there they are warm enough i am from taitataveta county i just came here as a referral but i've really loved the services here and i just pray that god will bless you abundantly you and all your your people Janga la corona lisambana kulemaza shughuli mbalimbali za kimsingi duniani kote na kutangazwa kama janga la kimataifa. Jiji la Mombasa halikusazwa sambamba na miji mingine kote duniani. Lockdown zilikuwa kawaida mpya, maisha ya watu na biashara nyingi zikaathirika pakubwa. Katika kipindi hiki kuanzisha mabadiliko ya kimtazamo kwa wakazi wa Mombasa kukubali hali mpya ilikuwa changamoto sana. Nchi zingine za Kiafrika watu wanakufa barabarani wewe uletewa matibabu hapa mtaani kwako upimwe pia wasuasua na usifikirie tu kwa kutafuta popularity contest we don't want to be popular we want to try and save lives what he did was to buff or cushion these people from economic harsh times by making sure that our facilities were well equipped and there was enough beds for residents of Mombasa for admission for covid cases Tourism is the backbone of Mombasa's business, you know. He led from the front and said, "Let us get all the frontline people in tourism vaccinated quickly so that we can give confidence one to people outside Mombasa, two to the whole world that we in Mombasa have taken charge." He set up people to go to the hotel, to a hotel so that vaccination could be done. So he did well for tourism. Makazi bora ya kuishi ni ndoto ya kila mtu maishani. Chini ya Ruwazi ya Mombasa mwaka 2035, utoaji wa nyumba bora za bei nafuu ni moja wapo ya nguzo kuu. Kwa vile mahitaji ya kila mwaka ya Mombasa ya nyumba mpya ni takriban 1035. Kutokana na hili, uongozi thabiti wa Governor Joho Muundo ushirikiano wa kimkakati na uwekezaji ili kuunda mpya makazi ya kaunti yaliyochakaa kuwa makazi ya kisasa na bei nafuu. Kuipa Mombasa sura nzuri na kuwezesha kila mmoja kuishi katika makazi yenye hadhi. Ndio sababu mitaa minne tayari imezinduliwa kwa mradi huo huku Baxter Point ikiongoza katika utekelezaji. You must be a property owner. Our agenda is to make you a property owner. There is no business in the county or even government to want to make money from its citizens. So our agenda he itakuwa project ambaye iko 100% transparent. Hakuna kitu kitafichwa. Residents wa Baxter tutawahusisha mpaka kwenye design za hii project. Kama kuna kitu upendi we sema kuna kitu spendi hapa. This projects of uh, urban renewal particularly in the housing sectors uh, look to give us a holistic uh, kind of housing it's not just uh, concentrated on accommodation but uh, the basic amenities that make a community functional are, are included we have been able to marshal this through different investors we are actually looking at uh, the current projects that are on course coming to around 35 billion just through partnership with the private sector and uh, as the projects proceed we don't just foresee houses as the end product 
So you find that uh, besides the meeting the need of housing in the long term, this is also providing a myriad of employment opportunities for our young people and our suppliers within the city. Baraza la Manispa ya Mombasa iliyopita ilikuwa na changamoto kubwa katika kutoa huduma bora kwa biashara za karne ya 21. Mifumo ya mwongozo iliyopo haikuwa tu ya kizamani bali pia ilitoa mianya mengi ya ufujaji wa pesa na rushwa. Huku kumbi za malipo za kaunti kujaa misururu ya watu waliokuwa kisubiri kupokea huduma ilikuwa ni jambo la kawaida. So basically the citizens are able to now access our services through the online platform which is secure and the reasons objectives for us to to automate our services is to improve on our efficiencies to enhance revenue collection to reduce on leakages and also to promote ease of doing business for our business community we've introduced a, an economic uh, stimulus package where we will now be discounting all permits and licenses to up to 30% uh, for of course uh, enterprises owned by women youth and people with disabilities and this has actually been formalized uh, in this year's finance act which has been passed by, by the county assembly uh, with the leadership of his excellency governor hassan ali joho we have seen a tremendous improvement in the welfare of the citizens of mombasa mombasa county has always led in the automation and efficiency in service delivery Uh, and this makes Mombasa truly county zero zero one. Limu bora ndio msingi wa maendeleo na ustawishaji wa jamii. Kuboresha mazingira ya kiufundi na kujifunzia ni muhimu katika kutoa elimu bora kwa watoto wetu. Chekechea ndio daraja la kwanza kwa mafunzo rasmi ya mtoto. Ni muhimu sana kuandaa mazingira mazuri ya kirafiki na kufurahisha ili kutoa mafunzo bora ya kukuza ujuzi na talanta zao. And so his excellency the governor also uh, came up with a plan of creating what we call centers of excellence. They have classrooms, they have a dining room, they have a play area, they have uh, a sick bay, they have toilets that are created for the children that open outwards that are the size of the children. They have uh, water tanks and boreholes. And so it is a stand alone institution. And recently we also introduced robotics. Uh, the future is artificial intelligence, the future is computers. We want our children to become what we call digital natives. This program is targeting 30,000 young kids every year once it's complete. Until now we have been able to finish uh, eight schools. These kids have started uh, developing creativity and innovation skills at an early age, also in terms of leadership skills and uh, it's a STEM. So at the end of the day it does a lot of uh, uh, involving science, technology, engineering and maths at an early age. Maendeleo ya miundombinu ni muhimu katika kuwezesha ukuaji wa uchumi hivyo kuchochea ajira na kutengeza utajiri. Uundaji wa mgalisho sambamba kuwafikia masoko ni jambo kuu katika kuruhusu biashara kustawi ikizingatiwa kuwa zaidi ya asilimia themanini ya wakazi wa Mombasa wanatembea kwa miguu ilibidi kuboreshwa kwa njia za jiji na umpendeza kila mtumiaji barabara. Under the leadership of Governor Hassan Ali Joho, Mombasa County has acquired a number of super infrastructure projects ranging from roads, stormwater drainage facilities, markets, hospitals, sporting facilities like the stadium, ECDs for education, 13,000 uh, street lighting and many other projects that have improved the standard of living and also enhanced the ease of doing business in Mombasa. Tumewekewa njia rahisi sana ya kucross barabara. Ambazo ziko ma pavement, ziko ma crossways. Na tunapata kwamba imekuwa kazi yetu rahisi kucross hata tukiwa na tree circle. Kabla ya ugatuzi miaka kumi iliyokwisha na sasa baada ya ugatuzi tumeona mambo mengi yamebadilika katika jiji letu hili la Mombasa. Tumeona sehemu zimetengwa za watu mahsusi kutembelea na ambapo magari yako kando na watu wanaweza kutembelea bila kuwa na hofu yoyote. 
tumeona majumba yamepakwa marangi nzuri ambayo inaleta picha nzuri katika Mombasa hii. Ukitembea wewe mwenyewe unaona kuwa Mombasa imepangwa ikapangika. Kama jiji lolote linaloendelea duniani Mombasa pia inakabiliwa na tatizo la mazingira. Ukusanyaji wa taka na ustawishaji wa mazingira ya kijani kibichi kwa jiji imekuwa changamoto kubwa hasa ikizingatiwa kuwa CBD ni eneo la makazi na kibiashara. Nataka nikwambie daktari Nato and your colleagues tarehe 20 hii ya leo, tarehe 20 ya Mei, tarehe 20 ya June na end of June nataka kibarani ifungwe. Taka taka zisipelekwe tena Kibarani my friend. You must close Kibarani. You want more trucks we'll give you, you want more equipment we'll give you. Go to the households, collect taka taka, peleka mahali ambapo wanastahili, but it will not be Kibarani any more. Barani Dam site had been in existence for over 50 years and as you can see it was sitting on a very very sensitive marine ecosystem. So the Gaun government made an effort to decommission it. We started by ceasing to dump here as you can see then we moved into the stage of uh, leveling and compacting and also covering this place with the uh, quarry dust and soil. What you are witnessing now is uh, the process of phyto remediation where we are encouraging natural vegetation to grow and also planting other trees particularly the palms and kashorina i can tell you for anyone the secret to success is working together there's no two ways uh, out of this you have to be able to think together and move together and collectively uh, work as as institutions as a department goes hand in line with our climate change agenda uh, because with urban forestry and the mangroves those are the avenues we are using as a carbon sink so that our climate can be better. Uchumi wa samawati ndio mzunguko mpya wa ustawi wa kiuchumi hata hivyo karibu sekta zote zikiwemo za uvuvi hazikuwa na vifaa vya kufaidi uchumi. Kila BMU tunayowapatia vyombo vya uvuvi vya hali ya anga yoyote. Hali ya anga ikibadilika una neti ya kubadilisha. Ukinyesha weza kuvua. Ukiwa najua weza kuvua. Hali ya hewa ikiwa nzito waweza kuvua. Vile vile tukawapa vyombo vya kuzamia 20 meters under water. Ndio kuwa ulikuwa unatoa lobster mbili sasa waweza kutoa 20. We've been able to give uh, to procure 28 high density uh, boats that were given to 15 BMUs that have minimum of 300 Uh, fishermen each so that has impacted to over 4000 uh, fishermen and they are able to go and fish in the deep sea so that they can get better catch and bigger catch Mustakabalo Mombasa uko mikononi mwa vijana wa jiji hili Gavana Hassan Ali Joho alibuni mpango uongozi kwa vijana Governors Young Leadership Program ilikuwa pa vijana wanaofanya kazi katika serikali ya kaunti ya Mombasa ujuzi unaohitajika ili kuongeza imani yao na kuimarisha ujuzi wao wa uongozi ili kuwezesha kukabiliana na ulimwengu that as much as people talk about the young people being the, the future leaders it, indeed they cannot be future leaders if they're not nurtured in that path hence the birth of GYLP we are right now as we speak into the second cohort of this very brilliant dynamic group of young people engaging with them on almost a daily basis 
also provides a learning curve, not just the young people, but even the guys who are ahead of them, including myself. So this is a program that, um, having been issued by the governor, and for good reason, is one that needs to be supported, not just by the governor, but any other leader who's coming in, will be able to support it and make it bigger and better. These young people that we have trained, you know, empowered them. What the end of Shule, university, Sahi, some of them are chief officers, some of them have opened businesses, ICT. So they're looking at the blue economy and they're finding opportunities. And that is why we wanted at the governor's office to train you to have the confidence to bring what is inside you. Kuendeleza Mombasa kuwa jiji la hadhi ya kimataifa si kazi rahisi. Ninahitaji kiongozi shupavu, jasiri na mwenye maono ambaye pia ni mdadisi stadi ili kuleta ubi ya maendeleo kama vile serikali ya kitaifa. Benki ya maendeleo ya Afrika, kundi la benki ya dunia, mabalozi, mashirika ya kiraia na wengineo. Hii imetoa matokeo yenye tija kama vile daraja la makupa interchange ya kibarani na kadhalika What I admire about the leadership of His Excellency the Governor Hassan Ali Joho is his ability to come up with swift, creative and unique responses to, to the situations of the day. He's opened up the Mombasa space. Why this is unique is because Mombasa has been known for certain stereotypes. He's actually made it possible for Mombasa to tell its story. My governor, Hassan Ali Joho, I want to thank you for your support, guidance and mentorship. You are a friend who has always been there for us. Even our needs as tech entrepreneurs from Mombasa have been incorporated in your ICT policy. And for that, thank you very much and wish you the very best. To whoever would be coming in, uh, I would say uh, Governor Joho has uh, set or laid some very good foundation, especially in the, the ease of doing business, the automations. We pray that uh, they will take it up from where he has left and improve. He has uh, this hunger to see people growing. And uh, the best part is it is not discriminative. It does not matter whether you are from Mombasa, you are from Makueni, I am from Busia, and I have been given a very big opportunity to serve in this government. The governor allows you to exploit your potential. Uh, he's been one that has led from the front and uh, makes sure that as much as you have the leeway to make certain decisions, run the affairs of the department that are under you, you're also guided by the law. You thought about your journey as the governor. You thought about the cabros that you have laid for the people of Mombasa, what we fondly call the red carpet along Moy Avenue and other areas. And you thought, those are prone to wear and tear. You thought about the high mast in Ziwalangombe. Mm, and you thought, you know what? Those just might grow dim one day. You thought about these blue and white buildings that you see around. We guess, guess what? Those colors just might fade. And I want to believe that you thought about a legacy that you would leave behind that will last forever. And that, that the legacy is rooted in the hearts of the people. And there was no better way for, do, for you to do it than the Governor's Young Leaders Program. Governor Joho is a leader who inspires his workforce, motivates his people, gives them direction by leading from the front, and appreciates results. Mwanangu Ali Hassan Jo. Kipenzi chetu wa Mombasa. Kama sisi wa mama, katika biashara, uliweza kusaidia, tukaenda Birmingham, ukatusaidia, tukaenda Rwanda, katika uongozi wako, ukatusaidia, tukaenda Dar es Salaam. Kwa hivyo, sisi tunasema ni asante sana. Mungu akubariki, Mungu akutendee mema, Mungu akubariki na kuinue. Lakini gavana mwanangu, usi tusahau sisi. To the people of Mombasa, I want to thank you Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, you gave me an opportunity to lead you for the last 10 years. I want to tell you that I'm going to be here, Mombasa is our home. At whatever capacity, I will always be at your service. You have my assurance, for as long as I leave, inshallah, I will always be here, at whatever capacity. Thank you, may God bless you.